Alright, uh, hey YouTube, this is just a quick update to uh, what I've been up to lately. Um, my main server here, this guy, uh, failed recently. Well, one of the hard drives failed. And that drive is right here. I've taken apart, taken the magnets out. The magnets are always fun from these things. But anyway, that, dri uh, that disc failed, but luckily I did have a RAID 5. Initially I thought two discs failed at the same time, but it was only one. So my data is recoverable. You can see in the background there, rebuilding the RAID now. It's taking its time, but it'll get there. A uh, huge shout out to my buddy who's helping me uh, recover this. He's the uh, MDADM expert for this uh, software RAID in Linux. So yeah, while that's recovering, it occurred to me that my backups for this thing is terrible. Now this right here is my main server. Uh, this hosts PBX, VPN, all that stuff for my clients. This thing backs up like every day. This guy, on the other hand, is more my development box, but for whatever reason I left my main web server on there. I've been meaning to transfer it, but I was lazy. So anyway, this guy, I realized I don't have a backup solution. I got that little NAS down there. Now that's my personal NAS. It's a Lenovo iX2. I uh, strongly recommend it. Lenovo keeps pushing firmware updates for it, even though it's been discontinued for two years. So kudos to Lenovo for that. That's great. But anyway, that's my personal NAS. I use that for all my personal files. I don't want to go cloud cluttering it up with uh, hundreds of gigabytes of backups. So at work, we were able to uh, spare this old server here. This thing's actually a custom built, not by me, but by someone from work a long time ago. Uh, it's just a custom built one U case, as you can see. I took the top off because I was uh, packing it with hard drives here. Uh, these are 250 gig WD blacks. Nothing to ride home about, but they'll do for some basic uh, VM backups. I'm going to put them all in RAID 5, so I'll get about 750 gigs of storage among all of them. So that should be adequate. The specs themselves, uh, nothing again to ride home about. Two uh, gigabytes of RAM and a Pentium right here. And uh, the motherboard if you can see that, where is it? It's somewhere here. Huh. Oh, I put this card in so it's covering it, but the motherboard itself is an Asus. Uh, I know it's a uh, LGA 775, but I don't know the model. Um, it's an older board, no redundancy or anything. It's only got a 10100 uh, NIC in it, so that's why I put my own gigabit Intel card here, as you can see there. So as I've said, nothing to ride home about, but I need a box to just be able to dump VMs on. And I need it fast, because once this thing restores, I'm going to back everything up. I don't trust it anymore. I'm going to replace the drives in that thing, but I need a box to just dump stuff on for now. So that's going to be this guy. So I'm going to fire it up, run some smart tests on the drives. We got these from work. I, I mean, I got these from work. They're basically brand new. They don't have much use on them. Uh, someone ordered the wrong size, so we got stuck with these 250 gig drives, and my boss let me have them. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run a smart test, make sure they're good to go, but they should be. And then I'm going to run Debian on this baby, get a little RAID 5 going, and then this will be my new backup server. So I'll check in once this is set up and once this guy is all recovered, right here. And, uh, yeah, I'll make a little update video. So that's what I've been up to. Sorry about the lack of uploads. I've just been crazy busy trying to desperately get back my Bitcoin on that machine over there. <laughs> but we should be good now. Huge shout out again to my buddy, uh, Heavy Metal, for doing this. Uh, it's his IRC name, but yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll be back when this guy's up and running.